What if your everyday products were made by forced labor? In our globalized world, this question is more pertinent than ever. It's a harsh reality that forced labor on Chinese ships and human rights violations are a part of our global supply chain. The very goods we use daily could be tainted by this grave issue. Reports have surfaced of seafarers working under severe conditions, with shifts stretching up to 15 hours a day. These aren't isolated incidents but widespread practices impacting hundreds of thousands of workers. The products these ships transport from food to electronics could be sitting on our shelves in our homes. This isn't just an issue for those directly affected. It's a global concern that touches every corner of our world. The ripple effects of these labor practices can disrupt the flow of goods, leading to potential shortages and price hikes. So even as consumers, we aren't isolated from these issues. The goods we take for granted may have a darker origin than we imagine. As we peel back the layers of our global supply chain, we uncover a reality that's as unsettling as it is widespread. But acknowledging this issue is the first step towards change. So let's delve deeper into this global issue. Beyond the products, there are people suffering. This isn't just a phrase, it's a reality for many workers on Chinese ships. These individuals are facing conditions that are not only physically challenging, but emotionally taxing too. Imagine working up to 15 hours a day, with little to no time for rest or relaxation. The living conditions are far from ideal, with cramped spaces and a lack of basic amenities. These workers are not guaranteed any rights, leaving them vulnerable to exploitation and abuse. We've heard testimonies from these workers, stories that resonate with pain and resilience. One such story is of a man we'll call Lin. Lin, like many others, was promised a decent wage and safe working conditions. Instead, he found himself trapped on a ship, working long hours with no end in sight. The physical toll was immense, but it was the emotional burden that weighed him down the most. The constant fear, the feeling of helplessness, the longing for home, these became a part of Lin's daily life. His story is not unique. There are thousands of Lin's out there trapped in a cycle of exploitation and abuse. These workers are more than just a number in the supply chain, they are human beings whose rights are being violated. Let's not forget that. A problem far away can still hit close to home. The intricate web of global supply chains means that the issues of forced labor and human rights violations aren't just distant problems, they have tangible impacts on the flow of goods around the world. Consider this, a ship's crew is forced to work under harsh conditions, leading to fatigue and low morale. The efficiency of the ship's operations declines, causing delays in delivery. This in turn disrupts the production schedules of factories relying on materials from that ship. The domino effect continues, with retailers unable to stock their shelves on time, and consumers facing shortages or increased prices. Recent disruptions in the global supply chain illustrate the extent of this impact. The Delta variant of COVID-19, for instance, led to land access restrictions for sailors, leaving around 100,000 seafarers stranded at sea. This resulted in major delays in the supply of goods such as oil, iron ore, food and electronics, which are all transported by ships. Even the weather plays a part. Deadly floods in China and Germany have disrupted the transport of coal and slowed down the road transportation of goods. These are but a few examples of how fragile our global supply chains can be and how they can be further jeopardized by the infringement of workers' rights. The ripple effects of these issues are felt worldwide, from factories to our front doors. Scene script. Change begins with awareness. In a world where the origin of products is often obscured, it's incumbent upon us to delve deeper, to question and investigate. Every item we purchase, every gadget we use, has a journey it has taken. And sometimes that journey is fraught with human rights abuses and exploitation. It's not enough to merely consume, we must also comprehend the true cost of our consumption. As responsible global citizens, we can no longer turn a blind eye. We need to actively support initiatives that promote ethical labor practices. We can do this by making conscious purchasing decisions, favoring companies that prioritize workers' rights and fair trade. We can support organizations that fight against labor exploitation, either through donations or by raising awareness in our own circles. As individuals, we have significant power. Our choices can make a difference. We can use our voices to call out unethical practices, to demand transparency from companies, and to insist on legislation that protects workers across the globe. Remember, every action matters. Every conversation we initiate, every product we choose not to buy because of its dubious origins, Every time we stand up for what is right, we are contributing to a larger movement for change. 
Every product has a story. Let's make sure it's one of fairness and respect, not exploitation.